Yum, yum. William Vaughn here with an introduction to action centers in Modo. Action centers are a definable origin position for modeling and transform actions. They allow you to easily change the position from where the action of any tool originates. You can activate action centers in the action center drop-down menu or in the menu bar under edit action center. Understanding and using action centers is key to getting the most out of Modo during a modeling session. Action centers are made up of two key attributes, their center or position and axis or orientation. Modo has several action center presets with predefined center and axis settings that speed up the process of using action centers. Let's take a quick look at these action center types. When no action center is selected, the action center type is set to none and the drop-down menu will be labeled action center. When set to none, the active tool handles will be positioned to the center of the current selection and oriented to the world or work plane axes. It's important to remember that if nothing is selected, then all components in the active meshes are considered selected. Changing the orientation of the work plane will directly affect the orientation of the tool handles. The position of the handle can easily be adjusted by left-clicking anywhere in the viewport. This will change the position of the handle, but the orientation will remain the same. While working with handles position in the center of the selection is extremely useful, changing the position can be equally useful. Be sure to experiment with the placement of the tool handles to see how it changes the result of the transforms to fully understand the functionality of having the action center set to none. When the action center type is set to automatic, the active tool handles will be positioned to the center of the current selection and oriented to the world or work plane axes just like when the type is set to none. The drop-down menu will be labeled automatic and another visual cue that will be different is that a small light blue crosshair will appear at the center of the tool handles. At first glance, automatic can appear to be no different than none. Like none, the automatic action center is not fixed and you can define a new center by clicking away from the tool handle, setting the position of the intersection of where you clicked in the viewport and the work plane. Unlike none, automatic enables you to adjust the orientation of the handles using the handle attribute. Selecting single handle will give you access to an additional handle that can be used to manipulate the orientation of the handles. An additional handle can be made available by choosing two handles from the handle attribute. This manual control of the handle's orientation can be extremely powerful, especially when combined with the snapping feature. The selection action center type changes the tool's handles to have the center and the axis aligned to the current selection. Unlike none in automatic, the position and orientation of the handles can't be manipulated as it's solely based on what is selected in the viewport. So clicking away from the handle will have no effect. Selection border combines the selection border center with the selection based axis. This action center type centers the tool handles around the border of the selected elements with the orientation of the tool derived from the average normals of the selected elements. The border of selection is defined by the open edge area where the selection stops. Like the selection type, the position and orientation of the handles can't be manipulated. I often use this action center type when posing limbs on a character. The selection center auto axis keeps the center of the tool handle centered on the selected geometry, but realigns the tool handles to the major axes. Similar to the automatic action type, additional handles can be used to reorient the handles to your liking. The element action center type enables you to click on any element in the 3D model to set the action center. Once you have a selection defined, activate a tool and choose an element that will be used as the reference action center for transforming the original selection. If you click on a polygon, Moto realigns the tool's handles to its normal. If you click on an edge or a vertex, Moto aligns the tool handles to the normal of those elements. It's important to remember that the element action center doesn't require the element that is selected to be the element that's used for the action center. Any element in an active mesh can be used. You can also take advantage of the additional element options, such as limiting the element to a vert, edge, or polygon, as well as defining whether the handle will be placed at the center of the element or where you click on the element. The screen action center type allows the action center and axis to be based on the frame of the viewport or screen space. Simply click in the viewport and the tool handles realign themselves to the screen and the transform becomes in relation to the picture plane rather than to any world or local coordinate system. The origin action center type uses the world coordinate 000 for the center of any transform regardless of item or element position. This can be useful when building something off the origin as you can easily rotate around the center of the 3D view using this setting. It also makes it easy to accurately set functions like mirror which happen across the origin's planar axes. The parent action center type uses the pivot position of the parented item as opposed to the center position. This is useful for transforming items in a hierarchy when you wish to keep items in proper relationship to their parents. Pivot is similar to parent but uses the pivot position of the item as the center of any transform. Local is another powerful action center type that uses the center of individual element clusters for the operation center. This lets you select multiple elements and have them each transform around their own local axis. 
This can be extremely useful when working with edges as you can use the stretch tool to scale several edges simultaneously along each one's individual local axis. If one of these action center types doesn't work for your current needs, you can always create your own configuration by manually selecting a center and axis setting. You can also save this custom action center setup by creating a preset in the tool pipe viewport. Action centers can play an important role in the modeling process, allowing you to easily change the positions from where the action of any tool originates, so be sure to get familiar with each option. Oh, look at the time.